How'd you like that? Well, good evening, folks. Welcome back to the Fish Dimension. Tonight, I'm waiting for my wife to get home. It's about 11 p.m. And for this video, we are going to take you along for something that I have been waiting to start back up. The crappie are coming back to our usual bank fishing area. I could not be more thrilled about that. Throughout most of the year, when it's not the deep summer or the middle of winter, this is what her and I like to do. We like to go to this spot at night because the floodlight attracts the bait fish, which attracts the crappie, and we like to fish them there. We don't get on like 50 and 60 crappie, not unless it's spawning season, but we do pretty well. The reason I don't normally take the camera along for these trips is because uh, the lighting is kind of bad in the spot, and there's really nothing I can do about it. But to hell with it. I'm going to stand in the brightest spot, I'm going to point the camera at the water, and I think it should turn out pretty good. Every so often we actually manage to get on a couple bass when we're doing this too, which is more than I can say for bass fishing with bass lures during the bass day. Now her and I are becoming pretty good crappy anglers, so I'm going to start giving out more information in these videos. I'm going to tell you what I'm using and how I'm using it and uh, you know, just give you some information about crappy and what they like to do. Uh, to start that off, uh, basically crappy go to deep water in the middle of winter, in the middle of summer. They hang around bridges and deep cover and underwater brush piles and all that stuff and you can't really get them from the bank, although uh, certain people on certain channels like uh, one of my idols, Crappy Sniper, uh, do manage to get on them pretty well. Uh, I don't know if it's just my spots or what, but can't seem to replicate the same thing. But anyway, during the more climatable parts of the year, they do come uh, shallow in our spots and we are able to catch them. Let's head out to the water. I'm excited. Hopefully it's going to be a pretty good night. Come with us, won't you? All right, so this is the spot. I'm sure you all recognize it by now. I'm pointing the camera down further than I would just so that you have something to look at. Uh, hopefully this turns out all right. All right, so here's what I'm doing. Got my bobber. Starting out at about uh, two and a half, almost uh, three feet down the line. And I got a little crappy lure on here. Just heard a fish jump out there. Uh, so yeah, just a tiny little jig head with um, kind of a wormy uh, body and uh, one of the curly tails. This is sort of a longer, flappier curly tail though. Uh, crappy like lures with lots of action all this wiggly stuff. And uh, as usual, I'm using my, um, using my uh, Daiwa RG with uh, light action ugly stick. Honestly, for crappy, you can use an ultralight if you want. But uh, I use a light action just in case I hook into a bass or a catfish or something a little heavier. So the method that I've used uh, most frequently lately is uh, just reeling it back to myself relatively slowly. One of the main things with crappy, uh, well, the main thing is, uh, you know, whether or not they're around at all. But the second most important thing is how deep they are. And this is what you got to find out if you know they're around. And, uh, tonight I do not know if they are around or not. Mm. It felt like a little hit there. So they might be. Got a bunch of dumbasses over here rocking the dock on purpose, making a bunch of f***ing racket. Oh! Got one. Nice. He was uh, right up on the bank. I've gotten a couple of banks like that too. Wow. Hey, buddy. He slingshotted the hook right into my hand. Great. Real nice. So there we go. First catch of the night. You can see the, uh, the method works. I hope you guys can see that okay. Let's go up into the brightest part of the light here just to be sure. All right, so there we go. Nighttime, late summer crappie, uh, using the method uh, 
as I just described to you. Now this one was right up on the bank, so they are in close and shallow and feeding on the bait fish. Couldn't be happier to catch them though. Oh, it is so nice, so nice to not be relegated to pan fish anymore. It's gonna be a good crappy season. This is the time of year I wait for. All right, well that's a good enough uh, look at him. Now we're gonna put him back. I really do hope that all of this is uh, turning out uh, looking nice for you guys. So I'm just gonna put him right back in the shallows here as long as I don't fall in. All right, hopefully this is all turning up okay. There he goes. Whew, okay. So far, so good. Oh, good. The retard brigade moved on, I guess. I'm loving this this cool night air. It's, uh, you know, there's no bugs out because it's a little cooler out and stuff, so I'm not uh, constantly being assaulted by no seams. All right, got another. Oh, no, I didn't. This is not a crappie. This is our old friend, the green sunfish. The tiny, tiny bait fish with a mouth so big it can bite a crappie lure. Okay, well, it's a fish, so it's going in the video. There we go, a nighttime green sunfish behaving like a crappie. Well, I appreciate the bite. You've made it a multi-species night. But get out and don't come back. I should probably say that uh, usually when we uh, come and do this, uh, you know, we consider catching any crappie at all a good night. Usually we can expect to catch anywhere from, you know, one to five crappie. Uh, five is a damn decent night and anything over that is spectacular. And that's just the, uh, the dynamic of this particular spot. As I said in the intro, uh, it's one of the one of the few spots we can we can go to to reach them. Hey, all right. Whoa. One for you. Finally. That's a good size one. <sighs> nice. All right. Nice fish. Angle them uh, fin up toward the candle. All right, there we go. Love these fish. All right. Crappy is by far my favorite fish. Definitely. <laughs> they bite great. You know they're hard to catch. Well, like you know you have to really work them. That's, catch them. that's a good one too. Would you say about nine ten? Yeah, nine and a half to ten inches, I'd say. Good one. He's good size for this lake. Uh -huh. He's really good size. Definitely. Was he right up on the bank? Right up in front of that. There's yeah. debris. And then mm -hmm. he was right in front of the debris. Yep, so they are feeding on the bait fish really, really close into shore. Yep. So, All right. there Hopefully we go. You get the hook out of him and put him back. Mm -hmm. There we go. All right. What is that, a rock? That I just lost it. Yep. Damn. Okay, we're back after that mess and uh, <laughs> had to retie because uh, I, I lost my my setup on something underwater. I snagged. All right, so now we're gonna try uh, plain jig head once again. With uh, all I use is the plain jig head now. The the colored ones. Uh, I've had a lot of luck on them and everything, but they always wind up uh, getting the paint chipped and worn off and they wind up just looking like this anyway so I just started uh, using these and we're gonna pair it up with a little grubby wormy tail thing uh, uh, kind of silver and black flecks very shiny I'm still trying to be shiny and imitate shad as much as I can well just in case we uh, catch something here uh, just got to inform the viewing public that uh, Gail picked up a couple of dead shad laying over on the bank and she put it uh, 
put it on a hook and cast your catfish rod out and just got a little jingle. So we'll see if anything comes of that. Caught a tiny little largemouth, huh? On a black and chartreuse tube <laughs> right up on shore. He may be something someday. Rotate, One. rotate him toward you topwise. Yeah, there we go. Looks good. Nice little fish. All right, tiny largey. Good job, babe. Yo. Okay, it looks like we might be on a catfish here. Oh yeah, yeah, you got a good one. What? How the fuck is he not on? America. Those shad are just too fragile. There was a catfish on there for a minute. For certain. That rod was bent all the way over. They really love those shad. Well. You took it, it's gone. Too easy to take them, I guess. Damn. All right. Well. We're at the gas station now. I'm gassing up. It was a pretty decent night, all things considered. If uh, if we'd have caught, you know, everything that uh, that bit, it would have been a much better night. But as things are, I'm pretty satisfied. Showed you guys that the methodology works. Well, anyway, we got a little bit of a drive ahead of us, and we're definitely gonna get something to eat. So for now, that's all from the fish dimension. <laughs>